Text match cut effect using CapCut mobile and PC, and it's free for now. To start, open your browser and Google the word you want for this effect. Then go to news, select an article, then take a screenshot. Take 8 to 10 different screenshots from different articles. This effect works best if the font and style are different in each screenshot. Now we open CapCut, new project, then add one of the screenshots. Go to aspect ratio, then choose 9 by 16. Select the photo, then resize and reposition until the word is in the middle of the frame. Next, extend the duration of the photo to 10 seconds. Then go to the start of the clip, pinch out to expand your timeline until you see the number of frames. Then move the playhead to approximately the third or fourth frame. Then split. Now with the second split selected, look for overlay. Then splice. Then decrease the opacity to around 55. This will serve as our guide in aligning the word for the rest of the screenshots. Now let's add the rest of the screenshots. Select the top layer, resize and reposition to align with our guide. Move few frames forward, then split. Select the second split, then delete. Do the same for the rest of the photos. Once done, tap on the overlay track, then delete. At this point, it should look like this. Now back in our timeline with nothing selected, tap overlay, add overlay, go to library, then background. Choose a solid color of your choice. I'll go yellow, then add. Select splice, then choose darken. Now let's go to mask. Select rectangle, then adjust the mask to fit the word. Now we have a highlighter. Match the duration of the highlighter track, and by now you should have this. Back in our timeline with nothing selected, tap audio, then sound effects, search for shutter, and add the camera shutter sound on each clip. You can also add a riser sound effect. Now with nothing selected, tap effects, video effects, search for fisheye, select, and adjust the twist to around 30. Exit and tap object. Then select all videos. This will set the fisheye effect to be on top of all the layers. Now hit the back arrows, then tap video effects, search for vignette, exit, and tap object. Then select all videos again. And we're done. For PC users, it's pretty much the same. Add your first screenshot, change the aspect ratio, resize and reposition, move four frames forward, then split. Decrease the opacity of the second split, then move it on the top layer to serve as our guide. Then add the rest of your screenshots on the bottom layer. Resize, align, then split. Now for the highlighter, you can download a solid color background from Google and add it to your timeline. Just change the blend mode to darken, then uncheck uniform scale and change the scale and position to fit the word. Then go to effects, look for fisheye, then drag it on top of your clips. Then adjust the twist to 30. Look for vignette, then drag it on top again. Add the same sound effects and here's your final output. Do the right thing and share the video.